it's Arizona. I believe that the brain controls your mind. Without the brain, you need your heart. And without a heart, you need a brain. So without one, you can't have the other, yes or no. What's cool about the heart is the fact that it pumps through your whole body. The cool thing about the brain is it pumps the heart. If you don't have a brain, what pumps the heart? Nothing, because your brain is what makes it alive. So let's say the brain. What controls the brain and how and who can hear your thoughts? How about microchips? What is a microchip? We know it's small, obviously, but what's a chip? Well, what's RFIDs? Radio frequency? We all know that. We've all heard of it. We've all seen it. We think it is something that can be controlled by what? The government? The... I don't know. Anyways, the cool part about a microchip is the fact that it can be controlled radio frequency. So everything you hear. How about radios? How about music? There's a certain beat to it. A certain flow. A certain trance frequency. What's trance? It means to go to or change. Or across. If you say it's international dateline, then it's in between something when you're crossing, yes or no. So if I say the interna international dateline is at zero degree, which is the margin 180, which is zero degree equator, you can say that we have those timeline of the international dateline, which means you can time jump, which is a time line. Now how does that go with brain is the fact that we think that we can celebrate our birthdays two years. You can have four birthdays because each year you'd have two birthdays. Now you can have, in reality I could be 18 and I could be actually 24 because each time I time jumped I can be two years old in each year. So that's if you live right next to the international dateline, which I don't know where that's at because it's airlines and international dateline, which means it's inter, which means between, which is really cool because nobody thinks it, but everybody knows it. Isn't that weird how we all think it, but we don't accept the fact that it's a time jump. It's a conspiracy fact that it's true. You can time jump. And if you want your birthday and you want to be younger, I don't think you can time jump from there, but you can time jump to be old as you can be and just jump from day to day. So we can do the microchips for somebody to, you can't really go back, but you can go ahead. You can repeat the same day. Not over and over and over and over again over the international dateline, but it's really cool because RFID can mean frequency radios. So we have AM, FM, and PM. AM, honestly, I don't know what these stand for, but I think FM is for afternoon, but it's music. PM is for probably past midnight, but also AM is probably afternoon. You know, it's like it's pretty cool how we just think about frequencies and how we think music, but in reality music has a certain beat, and a beat has a certain flow. And what has your target as your heart is a flow of constant speed. So maybe we all have RFIDs. What if your thoughts can be heard by the government? Wouldn't that be scary? How would they know every single terrorist unless somebody somewhere specifically put microchips in our brains? Let's think of something and think of somebody. Can you connect with them? Wouldn't that be scary if you can connect between any time you want? That'd be intertech or technology. I read on the magazine or in a newspaper that there was these type of brain where it's psychic. Now, it's kind of creepy, but what if you had the ability to listen to anybody at any kind of time, connect with them because you thought of that person? That would be RFID because it's radio frequency. You're thinking about somebody and it's crazy because you're letting it out. You're saying it out loud. So you're saying but it's inside, so you're insane, but inside you're sane. I may be crazy, but I'd rather be crazy than wrong, and I'd rather be wrong than right. So, I'll say it one more time. I'd rather be called crazy than called wrong, and I'd rather be wrong than right. What does that mean? It means my whole theories 
can be correct if only I would hate to be right. So RFIDs, I heard they were going to be done by 2020 or 2018, but of course, I'm just a kid, I don't know what I'm talking about. I hear radios all the time, I hear business people talk, I hear blah blah blah, but 2020 could be just the start of microchips. In reality, we could be just ending them. What if we already had them? We don't even remember. Um, what if you have a surgery somewhere and the doctor was looking at something and you put a microchip inside and you're the experiment? What if you are experimented right now and you don't even know it? What if you are your own species? Because there's seven, there's kingdom, phylum, class, order, species, economy, what's it called? Economy, popularity, community, groups, there's seven. Remember kingdom, phylum, class, order, or, I think... Yeah, that's how you do it. Because honestly, I'm just barely catching up in school with my grades. So I'm like, I don't know everything, but I'm trying, I'm trying. You can, you know, I don't know, cope with the mind of my set. Because I honestly don't know where I'm looking at. But I know Kingdom Phylum class. I don't know what phylum is. It sounds like organisms. And I know that we're not all the way up to the kingdom because that's where animals are. That's where the big ones are. But we're supposedly at the top of the food chain. But if we have RFIDs, who's on top of us? Who has that power? It's supposed to be the government, and everybody's talking about how the government's bad. I think maybe the government's trying to help us by not trying to tell us everything. Maybe we're not supposed to know everything, because what are we supposed to know? Then we go to chaos, and then we go to destruction, and we just ruin ourselves. So maybe the government's actually protecting us by not saying anything, because if we know everything, then we're like, then why did you tell us, government? We blame you. In reality, the government's trying to protect us by not saying anything about aliens, because we all know there's aliens. We've seen it, we've heard it, we've seen it, because we've seen, um, let's see, what if that one little tiny spacecraft that was on the, what's called, the atmosphere of the Earth was actually an asteroid? What if these certain rocks look like stars? What if it's just cosmos? Um, what if, and these are all what ifs. I, I don't know anything. I'm just my own citizen creating my own thoughts because I'm creative and I like being creative and I like believing in aliens and sci-fi and you know these cool things that I can watch other people listen to and enjoy because they all know it's sci-fi they all think it's a story it is a story it's a scary bad dream but when are we going to wake up and see that they're just protecting us that the government is trying to help us because we don't know what's good for us because we don't know we're crazy because we're all crazy in a big loony bin that's earth what if RFID is actually helping us connect with each other, which is the phones, which is everything? We don't even know it, but little by little, we're connecting to help each other. But, you know, hey, I don't know anything. I really don't. I'm, I just, I'm just home, and I'm here figuring out what, you know, what's E equals MC squared. And I'm like, I don't even know, but I'm babbling, so, you know.